Let's go ahead and take a peek at Seesaw's self-grading assessment features and how we can create questions of our own for students to answer. First, let's take a look at an example question that's already created. Here, I have two examples. The first is in practice mode, where students can check their own responses. The second is in assessment mode, and Seesaw will check that answer when they turn the assessment in. Let's take a look at how to create these questions. First, click the icon with a check mark, and then tap questions. Consider what question type you're interested in. If you want the question to be classic or drag and drop, and which feedback type you want. For this question, we want multiple choice, drag and drop, and practice mode. Simply type in your questions and answers, ensuring that you select the correct answer. From here, you can resize and move around the pieces so they fit best on your canvas. The next question is similar, but we want it to be in assessment mode. Again, click on the check mark to start your question. Choose the features you need. So for this question, we need multiple choice, drag and drop, and assessment mode. And then again, type in your question. Continue to edit your question so that it fits on your canvas. Here's an example of a classic multiple choice question that's in practice mode. To recreate this question, first add the passage you'd like to use. I have one saved in my files. Then click the check mark to start your question. Take time to adjust your question type, response type, and feedback mode. In this case, we'll want multiple choice, classic response type, and practice mode. Be sure to type in the question along with response options. We also want to be sure to choose a correct answer for your question. You may select more than one response as a correct answer. Again, adjust the question to better fit your canvas. In this next example, I'm going to show you how you can use multiple questions and also how you can use a shape or uploaded image as a response option. In order to do this, we are going to first start by adding the images you'd like. In this example, I'm adding shapes. Click on the image or shape that you'd like to use as an answer response. Click the three dot menu, then choose make response. If you do not have a question on this page, it'll prompt you to create a question. Be sure to mark the image or shape as correct if it's a correct response. From here, you can resize and move around the pieces so they best fit on your canvas. Continue to select the shapes or images that align with your question. If you need to align a shape or image to a new question, you can use the pull down menu to create a new question. In this example, I am sorting all shapes into one of four categories. So I created four questions and marked all shapes that correspond with that question as correct. Two answers cannot have the same name, so be sure that all responses are labeled differently. When using multiple questions like this example, be sure to use the student preview to check that all of your answers are inputted correctly. These formative assessment tools provide immediate learning insights for teachers. In summary view, teachers quickly see which concepts most of the class understood and which concepts they do not. In detail view, teachers can see which specific students need more help. I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to leave any questions you have in the comments below. Like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.